crap, I forgot I'm not George Lucas. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, first off, I just wanted to say thank you for expressing interest in this video. This is uh, filmed over a couple weeks of, of the different project or different portions of the project that I was working on, including um, getting cabling done and soldering and mounting different things in the rack. So um, if you have any specific questions though, feel free to ask me, like reach out in the comments or, or whatever, um, or on Instagram. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be just kind of a recap of the past couple weeks of working on this rack. Um, but I hope you enjoy it, and thanks again for being here, and let's get to the action. So this is a broadcast rack. Um, so this is a converter tray here I've got wired up, but I'm going to show you around the front real quick. So we've got a switcher in here, a shelf for uh, a output card. We've got a Mac Mini in this, and we'll have a Stream Deck and some other fun stuff in this, but I'll be giving updates as I go through this, and this will be full of cabling here pretty soon. And uh, this is the exhaust fan I'm putting in the back of the rack. I'll, I'll show you guys more details, but this is really cool. It's got a temperature probe on it, so you can dial in whatever temperature you want the fans to kick in. And this is working really well. I've just been testing it this morning, but we'll, we'll dive into this deeper when we throw it in the rack. And then on the front of the rack, I've got a inlet fan, so it'll be sucking in cold air, and this will be blowing out all the hot air and this is, will be at the top of the rack here so right up here and the inlet fan let's see if you can see it is right there at the front and that's sucking in the cold air or non uh, heated air from this rack so should be in theory good circulation pulling in the cold air and then exhaust from the top where all the heat would go We'll see how that works.
All right, so I've done a couple things here uh, since last recorded, but um, pulled the patch plates out and painted this one. Um, so painted it a flat black to try and match the other one um, as close as possible at least. And then um, also added the HDMI on there and then put a blank cover on this end. Uh, also have RAM power on the tray for our converter tray here. Um, so just gotta figure out all this rat's nest and get it in there and mounted. I mounted the power strip there. Work around here. Mounted power strip in there. So that's all secure, screwed down. Um, yeah, we're cruising along here. Just did a couple things, put new uh, tie straps, Velcro tie straps on this. The blue ones in there are just temporary, getting data mocked in here for different runs. Uh, I'm gonna have the switcher networked and the Mac Mini, and then mounted the switch up here as well. So yeah, we're cruising along. Um, should be wrapping this up pretty soon. Just wanted to update you guys on, oh, and I also labeled these too, just so it's, um, each converter is labeled with its number and then just also put, I don't think it's focusing, but SDI in to HDMI out on all these, just to make sure that, you know, if someone serviced this, they would know where to patch back in. So. All right, I got SDI patched back in here to the converter tray. Power snaked through there. Get the light out of the way. Power snaked through there. Um, I gotta work on these wall warts a little bit, but power's looking pretty clean. And the whole reason for this shelf um, <clears throat> was to be able to slide these out. You can also access these from the back of the rack like this. Um, which I will demonstrate once we have everything back in, but the idea for these looms is that then when this is mounted in the rack, those looms are down un under the shelf, out of the way, uh, under the sliding shelf, I should say. So this, this sliding shelf covers those, uh, so you typically would not see them but you can access them for quick access and troubleshooting by just sliding that shelf out. Um, so you can get to pretty much all you need from that position, but if you needed to take these out, you have enough slack here to pull the whole tray out. And it's caught on the zip ties, but pull the whole tray out and work on it just like this. So that was the whole reason for these looms inside here. And it actually worked out really nice. All right, so I have started to work on a little bit of data runs here. Got one in and labeled. Um, <clears throat> we got power strip going here. Um, what I'm gonna do is put Velcro straps on these just to kind of secure them down so when they're when the rack is moving around or, or traveling uh, these don't just wiggle out um, probably I mean it'll be best to check all these connections power wise once the lack rack lands where it's gonna be but you know at least the velcro straps will kind of secure it a little bit started laying in these LED lights as well so I'll get those powered up here in a little bit but um i wish i had a little better solution for power in here um i think we're gonna be okay but it's gonna be tight so we'll have to figure it out but it's coming along um we got power to our deck link there and all our converters are powered Fan is powered that's running up here, and it is sucking in cold air and blowing it back here. I can feel it. 
which is perfect for our cooling system. And yeah, we're just gonna start cruising along here. Thank you guys for watching part one. Part two is gonna be uh, more testing of the actual equipment. I broke it down because it was just way too long uh, with doing everything on one video. So part two is gonna be more testing of the actual equipment that's in the rack, um, testing all the cabling, making sure everything's working, testing latency of the switcher um, and different inputs that we have on that. So including the converter tray and, and all those. So anyway, uh, go ahead and click on part two. That'll be in the description and I'll put it somewhere on this hopefully. But thanks for watching part one. May the Lord bless you and keep you and be gracious to you always. And uh, you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.